Hello, I'm Dr. Herman again, and welcome back to BrowardMS.com. And I've got more information to share with you that may not have been on my initial uh, introduction video about multiple sclerosis. And this is shocking information. There is, uh, there is a, a kind of bacteria that I put out in another previous video about mycoplasma, a kind of bacteria. Well, that bacteria, that mycoplasma comes from a bacteria called brucella. And there have been studies on patients with multiple sclerosis with lesions in their brain or spinal cord. And what they have found, and this came out of a 1989 European Neurology Journal, neurobrucellosis. How many of you with MS have heard of neurobrucellosis? Maybe a few of you, probably not all of you, because the people who come to me have never heard of this before. Neurobrucellosis whether this is transverse myelitis, or uh, a numb leg, or because uh, you think it's sciatica, or you were told it's MS, but they can't find MS in the spinal uh, fluid, uh, uh, but it looks like ALS, or it looks like MS, or maybe there was a stroke, and there's pain down the limb, and your doctor can't get rid of it with all of the pain medications they're giving you. Neurobrucellosis mimics multiple sclerosis. That means this infection from this, this bacteria, go back and watch the other video about mycoplasma and there's more coming. This bacterial infection can actually cause presentations you'll see in the next slide in the brain that look just like multiple sclerosis. I also shared with you on the introduction video for the, uh, for on my MS website about, M about MRI images where the white lesions in the brain were caused by Lyme infection called neuroborreliosis. And it wasn't even really, uh, really MS, so it mimicked MS. Lyme infection can cause neuro nervous system borreliosis from the Borrelia infection. It can make those white lesions in the brain like MS or Lou Gehrig's disease. Neurobrucellosis is this topic about mycoplasma bacteria that can cause white lesions in the brain. And what they found here is a case of neurobrucellosis misdiagnosed at the onset as multiple sclerosis. Magnetic resonance imaging showed multiple lesions, demyelinating lesions in the brain. The myelin basic protein was elevated in the cerebral spinal fluid. The immunological cerebral spinal fluid study was consistent with a chronic intrathecal inflammatory process. Look at these lesions in the brain here. Do you see that? Can you see that on this video? If you can't, all you have to do, write this down, type into your search engine. Teaching neuroimages, brucellosis, mimicking, demyelinating disease, neurology 2011. Pause me, rewind it, listen to that again. White lesions in the brain that looks just like multiple sclerosis even had elevated proteins in the spinal fluid caused by this bacteria in the body. You can go and look at, on website, neurology.org, content number uh, 76. There's a good PDF file about this. This is scary. So when you have this debilitating, demyelinating disease, your doctor is most likely prescribing you one of the MS medications to dumb down your immune system because your immune system is so stupid that it's just attacking your own tissue, making this demyelinating syndrome occur, making those white lesions just occur in your brain. When the whole time you have chronic infection, this was even uh, talked about Dr. Punjabi back in Cambridge University in 1996 to 2000. Viruses, infections, cause autoimmune disease. Toxicities cause autoimmune diseases. This is proof right here. It wasn't even really MS, whatever that really is. It mimics it and the body is attacking these bacteria that are found in different tissues in the body, in the brain, in the spinal cord, in the muscles, in the nerves. How about that? So do you think that your body's being stupid and it's attacking your own tissue so you need some immune suppressing medications that can even make you sicker? Or do you have to be able to use targeted natural products 
that can get rid of these biofilms and get rid of these bacteria that can be causing this whole white lesion presentation in your nervous system. You get into the offense. Stop being in the defense and just have your doctor tell you what needs to be done and you take the medication that he prescribes because that's the latest one on the market to save your life. Here's real research, folks. You make a decision. We have tools to help you. We can help you. This is not the only reason why it can develop. And I've got many different videos. There's probably about 30 videos on this website right now coming to you via email to help you understand what is making your body uh, uh, act this way. I'd love to help you. You've got to make a decision of what you want to do for yourself. I'm here. And we've got strategies to help you. There are natural things that can help you get well. I look forward to helping you. Thank you.